think overall, uh, I have to say the defense, uh, really even on Saturday, was really a, a pretty impressive day. Uh, obviously, very, very negative from an offensive point of view. They got uh, one day on Saturday, they were our first day of pass. I think they got about 10, 11 uh, turnovers, uh, fumbles, interceptions, and those kind of things. Again, that's one on one. You know, so it wasn't just all 11 on 11 stuff, but but uh, they had a fantastic day. I like the way they were moving around, running around, and and all that. They lined up correctly and uh, getting to the ball. They were running with some speed and and offensively, uh, obviously, it's not what you want. Uh, but uh, overall, I just like the way we're we're trying some things on offense. We're trying some different things on defense, and uh, but I just thought the defense uh, really did some good things as far as just overall. They really wasn't necessarily just one guy. Uh, it was just multiple people uh, making plays. You mentioned try some things. Care to share what some of those might be? Uh, not going to go into a whole lot of details, but uh, we're experimenting things on offense here in general, just trying to see what we can do in the running game. Uh, certain pass concepts we're trying to experiment with. Uh, defensively, we're just trying to have a few guys to try some different places and uh, just trying to experiment. That's what the spring ball is, is experimenting. Uh, not only from a personnel standpoint, but also scheme and uh, different techniques and different things we want to try, special teams wise, and uh, doing a lot of those things there too, as far as doing some different drills um, and trying to experiment on some things that make us better. You mentioned your update last week about wanting to not get in out of the huddle quicker, but expedite some things offensively. How do you work on that here in the 15 practices you have? Well, I think the, uh, on offensively, uh, we're just trying to be a little bit more faster and more efficient, um, trying to say you want to be uh, gaining four yards on every play um, and just uh, trying to get more plays in in a faster time, but also want to be more efficient. Uh, again, we got new people at some certain positions, but uh, we're trying not to use that as an excuse even right off the bat. Uh, so again, I think it's just trying to fine tune things. What, what can we do? You know, that's, that's at the end of the 15 practice. We're going to find out some things what we can do, and also you find out some things what you can't do. Uh, so that's the whole purpose of it all. And uh, so we're going to check it all out in every phase. Some of the changes you have, not specifically personnel wise, but is the 15 practices enough to tell, okay, in the fall, come August, this change we made in the offseason will work? How long does it take to analyze that? Well, I don't think we're going to know the whole answer, but I think it's eliminating what we want to do, what we think we can do. I think that's probably the biggest thing in the 15 practice. You can get some ideas as far as focusing on certain things for 15 straight practices. And after 15 practice, you can know somewhat uh, what you can do and what you can't do in a certain things that you're trying to offense, defensive, whether it's scheme wise or it may be personnel wise or whatever. So you can get some answers. Uh, it may not be totally all the answers, but you can also get some answers. Entering the second season on the new offense with uh, Joe Daly as the uh, offense coordinator and obviously Buckshot going into his first full off season here in the program. Uh, have you seen a lot of um, improvement on that side of the ball? Obviously, a lot of turnovers you, you said on Saturday, but just overall, you know, knowing the system, knowing the offense. Well, I think there's definitely been some improvement on, on Buckshot. Uh, again, he got a lot of things he needs to improve on too. But I think just overall understanding what we're trying to do it uh, has a little better understanding of the why. You know, all last season he didn't know the why. I mean, he was just letting the talent kind of take over, and we kind of uh, kept it in check in some areas just to make sure that he can know because he was learning on the run. Uh, you know, he didn't have a whole full year of understanding the why. And uh, I think now he's going to understand the why a lot better and can be able to see it from a more of a coach's perspective and then be able to execute it like a player. Uh, again, he had a fantastic year. Not, not take away what he did do under those circumstances. But uh, again, he's uh, a leader. He's talking a little bit more and, and understanding things a little bit better. So I think that's always a plus. How hard do you go in pads, especially with so many players listed as out in so few positions with only one deep? Yeah, we wish we would do a whole lot of live tackling, you know, a live going with a uh, force running backs, receivers, and tackling all from that perspective. The old line, D line, you know, we won't do a lot of cut blockings, uh, you know, somewhat the offensive line, D line. Not that they go fully live, but you, you kind of have to go almost 80, 90 percent when you're an old lineman, D lineman, just because of your you being able to execute what you need to do, so the offense or defense can can do what they're supposed to do. So I think the main thing is we just won't do a whole lot of really a full scrimmage live, and we'll do some of that, but we just won't do a whole lot of it. Got two mid-year enrollees, um, Tristan Schultz and then Cunningham at quarterback. Uh, how have those two guys, you know, adjusted to college game in the first week of practice? 
Well, Mason got a ways to go, which is somewhat expected, and Tristan does too. And Mason, a quarterback, is just a whole lot of things he got to learn and terminology and just learn about how to do things the way we want to be done. So everything's a little bit late uh, on just um, uh, getting at the line of scrimmage, just some simple things and just getting the plays uh, uh, executed in the proper way. Uh, Tristan definitely shown that he has talent, uh, but again, technique. Uh, is a little bit way off in certain things that we want him to do. He's doing some things still that he's done in the past, which is understandable. Uh, but all we want to see out of all of those guys, or really the two guys you mentioned there as far as Tristan and Mason, every day you get better. You know, Every day you make a little improvement in certain areas. Uh, and so we'll see that here. We only have had three practices, so hopefully here in the next two or so after five practices, hopefully you see a little bit more improvement in, in, in a certain area, whether that just be technique, whether just know, know their plays, know where to line up, know who to block, or, or know what your reads are, and so on and so forth. Any time a spot for Stephon Moss, or are you still working with him at running back? Oh, he's been all at, at running back. Uh, he's he, he probably going to stay there at this point in time. Uh, we just feel like that's probably his best position for him to have a chance to, to be productive. Uh, to say that that may change, it could. <laughs> but I think we're going to probably stay with him there for, for the most part, unless some things happen, injuries or whatever may cause that. But I, I think he's um, you know getting into the fold again. You don't want to move him a whole lot because he, he needs to learn a whole new position too. So we'll just see how it works. What have you seen out of Spencer Jones, wide receiver, after last year being the third string emergency quarterback, uh, doing a lot on special teams? How have you seen him adjust on the offensive side? Well, I think Spencer is uh, going to be a pretty good receiver for us. He's, he's definitely primarily playing receiver, uh, playing the outside receiver. He could go a little bit in the slot, but we're mainly keeping him on the outside receiver. He's shown some good progress, had a good day there uh, yesterday, excuse me, on Saturday. And so I think he's doing some good things. He's making progress every day. He's still learning to run some routes on certain things we're looking at. Uh, but uh, I'm pleased as far as what he's done so far in the first three days. What's been the reception so far of the changes to the coaching staff and elevating Kyle up? I think it's been a smooth transition. Uh, I think it's been a good move for, for everybody, uh, the complete offensive side, particularly coaching staff, and, and piecing things together. And uh, the way I see it's going to materialize here over the next few months uh, as we get ready to go there in August or September, uh, I see it as a good thing. Um, you know, Coach Brown going to playing, going to running backs and coaching that side of it, and Scott Downing going to tight end and all that. It just seemed like a better mesh. Uh, on communication uh, in our meeting rooms, on the football field and all that. And, but there are still a, a couple of things we need to continue to improve on as far as just with the staff. Uh, again, we are trying some different things, but I like the communication. I like the way they're doing things at this point in time. Uh, in comparison to your first few years here, um, obviously moving to FBS, do you sense any you know, change in the guys as far as their energy level or anything like that as far as you know, his first week of spring practice, getting uh, prepared to make that move to FBS? Uh, I, I know they're excited about it and all that, but they still got to go out and execute no matter where you FBS, FCS, or whatever it is. And so I think our guys are focused on what's going on. Our coaches are, uh, are bringing some good energy, and they are staying focused on what the task they're uh, trying to get done. Uh, but I know our players are just trying to do what they're capable of doing. That is every play and every day you need to come out. Uh, again, you only get so many opportunities in life. You only get so many opportunities to play a football game. And so you got to prepare yourself uh, like it is your last day that you're going to be out here. And so we just talk about that mentality. Thank <laughs> you.